on in manja manja. Amongst this rush to nowhere new, to be again with no one new, this rush to never leave. I never read that poem out loud before. Say first. It's a first. It's a world premiere. It's a world premiere. Uh, and Manja Manja was the name of the restaurant. And um, still around. I was just struck reading. I don't know. If it's still around, but. Uh, I was struck reading it that it, it's very much storytelling. It's not, it's not uh, difficult to see that it's a poem written by a playwright. Okay. Uh, for, yeah, for yeah I could see that. So yeah. this is a poem that I, uh, Beckett translated. My plants are fighting for their lives. I shall soon hear their final screams in my room or nearby on my street where soul in pain I take the air. And mes plantes agonisent vert, vermont, vers moi bientôt le cri suprême. Dans cette chambre, dans ma rue, où aime en peine, je m'aère. It's a poem that uh, definitely improved in translation. Okay. <laughs> and uh, it's, it, it's, it's a nice little poem. I, I think the idea that the, 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 the plants are dying and you take the air. And you, yeah. yeah was a striking image. This is a poem I've liked um, called The Shooters. And uh, I, I think I wrote it after my father's death. Mm. All through your life you see the shooters firing guns into the sky. You wait for something to return to earth, but nothing ever falls. You ask your parents why the shooters shoot. You ask, what is their target? Your parents look away. Your father dies. You feel the pain. You see the shooters once again, and once again you ask your mother why. This time she weeps and starts to die. And when she dies, your childhood dies. You search and find the shooters once again. You climb into the chamber of the tall one's gun, and there you wait your turn. This is called Partisan Politics, and we had a lovely kid named Galen Gibson working at uh, Gloucester Stage Company. It's a theater I founded 35 years ago. And he was right an in Rocky Neck, right there. Yeah, yeah, he was an intern at the yeah. theater, and he went back to school at, uh, I can't remember the name of his school. Uh, it was a special school for bright kids and very bright, Simon's Rock. Oh. And uh, there was a crazy kid that sh was shooting people. And, oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. Wayne Lowe. They were, and uh, this lovely kid was in the library studying, and he heard the gunfire. He looked up at the window, got a bullet in his head, and died. And his father on the bookstore in Gloucester. And I wrote this poem. I mean, you know, something terrible happens. You're a poet. You write a poem. Right. I mean, it's not very useful, but that's what you do. <laughs> it's called Partisan Politics. For you good New Englanders, God's own Republicans, who stood and voted no to limit sales of deadly guns, I write this small, unsightly, dedicated verse. Behold the wonder of your win. You are looking down the barrels of M14s, held in jittery fingers by kids of necrotizing hatred, their blood eyes squared by countless cable channels, showing Schwarzenegger mega-hits of your creation. We must remember Galen Gibson fondly and other children killed in libraries on lawns like wayward cats who die of gorgeous curiosity. And though my angel heart when pressed cries mercy, even, even for rampaging elephants and warm complicit wives, my donkey brain screams, Yankee pigs, you die. For in the end, dear Babar and Celeste, it's you who bet and lose our babies' lives. In the name of party politics, you park your hearts and brains and yes, vote death trap cars and guns and cigarettes, continued for the endless want of wanton currency without regard for God or country. And at day's end, you will be judged as traitors, heretic as heroin on amber waves of grain. I love that line about the cats with the gorgeous killed them for their gorgeous curiosity. Mm. Yeah. So. So this is the last one, Yes, I think. Uh, depends on your timing. 
No. This is the uh, the one I two uh, minutes. We have two minutes. So. Oh well, I can do okay. it. I can do another one after this. It's called a Heaven, and I named the book Heaven, and I found out from you today that uh, Heaven. Other, I think it was by Jack Kerouac. Kerouac right? had a book called Heaven and Other Poems, which I didn't know, but I've. Well, uh, you're in good company, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been in luckily in quite good company, just without even leaving my house. Right. There's much I've touched in heaven that cannot be surpassed, your lips for two. The smiles of my five children, my feet on any street in Paris, the sandbar at Niles Pond, the raspberry catch on Salt Island off Good Harbor Beach, the lucky seventh green on Jubilee, or any one of Madame Salmon's 50 confiteurs des fruits. Each memory now defines my worth and vanishes like our time on earth, never to be touched again in this precious life called heaven. Thank you for joining us uh, at Endicott College, uh, Israel Horowitz, and uh, good luck with your new movie, um, My Old Lady. My Old Lady, September 19th, it'll be- In the our, theaters? Uh, in theaters around the country, yeah. Wonderful, I'll be watching. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Mm -hmm.